We're back here on Yankees Magazine, and it is time now for a look at a special day during which many of New York City's top pro athletes give their time for a worthy endeavor and, in turn, raise money for their respective charities. For the seventh year in a row, BTIG held its annual Commissions for Charity Day. Over the years, BTIG, which is a premier institutional brokerage and fund services company, has raised more than $7 million through this event. And this year, a quartet of Yankees charities reaped the benefits. Here's a behind-the-scenes look. having our uh, seventh uh, annual charity day, um, which supports a, a handful of children's charities. We started this about seven years ago. All of our traders and sales traders wanted to kind of give something back. It's uh, very, very, very self-satisfying, and uh, every single person in here is, you know, happy to uh, kind of take their commissions for the day and, and give back. The representatives from the Yankees organization that were present were Joe Girardi and his Catch-25 Foundation benefiting research for Alzheimer's disease. Reggie Jackson's Mr. October Foundation, which provides computers to children in need. Johnny Damon and his support for the Johnny Damon Foundation, which supports the Wounded Warrior Project, among others. And Jorge Posada, represented by his wife Laura, and the Jorge Posada Foundation, which of course raises funds for craniosynostosis. This is great, you know, in a time when the economy is so bad and people are losing so much money. I think, you know, it, it tells a lot about this organization that they are taking the time to, to raise money for all these foundations and just, you know, these guys are losing their commissions, but they know they're going to a good cause. Hey, Jimmy, buy me 500 for the rest. <laughs> I think it's awesome. Wow, what they're doing is going to help benefit so many charities out there, and uh, I'm very grateful that they invited me here. The nice thing about it is it helps my charity, and, and so it's, uh, I'm very fortunate and grateful. I'm thankful for what's going on with me and what's going on with the foundation and my foundation and the people that I can help. And, um, I'm grateful. It's just wonderful um, because there's so many people in our world that are hurting, whether it's people falling on hard times or people that have illnesses and diseases. And, you know, for Stephen to donate $25,000 to our charity and we'll disperse it amongst Alzheimer's patients, um, cancer, scholarships for kids. It's just a wonderful event. And, you know, you think about pressure jobs and people always talk about my job. This is one job I wouldn't want. There were many A-list athletes from all different sports, and they were all grateful to spend the day trading in Midtown and help a lot of people along the way. The needs are greater than ever. And if you have as your objective, as we do in the J Fund, of trying to assist families who have children with leukemia or other forms of cancer, you know, we want to meet all our needs. It's very difficult, but this really helps. It's an example of what I've known for a lot of years since we started doing our foundation. This community is really great. It really has a sense of responsibility and generosity. I think it's just a great cause, and uh, it goes towards uh, so many different charities. And to uh, you know, it's fun to, to get some, some athletes and uh, up here, and, and it's fun for me to see some of these other guys that you don't always get to see from other sports. And um, so it's uh, the spirits are great on the floor. Everybody's in a good mood, knowing that uh, everything today is going towards a great cause. And uh, you know, so it's really special what they're doing here. It can sometimes get intense on the floor, and for all those who attended, it was a look at an occupation very different than the respective sports they play. I think there might be more stress here than uh, trying to hit a uh, 95 mile per hour fastball. This is great, organized chaos. It's just like the sideline sometimes on Sunday. The yelling back and forth, it's pretty good stuff. No, this will never be my job. I might be a runner for lunch or something and get some, you know, take a little bit of everyone's lunch, but that would be it. Approximately $3 million will be donated by BTIG. Over the past five years, the Commissions for Charity Day has raised over $10 million. From a personal standpoint, as well as I think, you know, a, a firm philosophy, we try wherever we can to, you know, help those a little less fortunate, especially the kids. And as you can see, we've got a, a lot of both, uh, you know, celebrities and, uh, and athletes up here that are also willing to kind of contribute to the cause. So it's, it's really a nice day and it makes everyone here feel really good.